Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more A World Betrayed DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms as Cao Cao. So, uh, Cao Cao is now at Runan. Um, he is mustering up his army. It's going to take a little bit of time, <coughs> excuse me, but he will um, be prepared to have a go at uh, our friend here, Yuan Shu, who is um, definitely looking at me with uh, a suggestion that he wants to hurt me. Um, over here we have Jiang Yan who looks like he's heading our way. We'll see in a second. I'm not 100% certain what he's going to do. I don't think he can do much this turn at least anyway. Now Jiang Yan, unfortunately, there is one problem with Jiang Yan. If we are not aggressive and attack him, we're probably going to be subjected to an ambush, which is not something I quite like. Uh, at this moment in time, I think my best choice is just to encamp um, because I hope that will protect us from ambush. You, you'd think it should, um, but if I just stand there, he'll definitely get an ambush on me. So I'm going to do that. Other than that, he could potentially go for Hodong because he is at war with Yangfeng. Um, his belly is open to me as well now because Xinyu is here and can attack pretty much at will up this road <coughs> uh, depending on where he has a supporting army anyway, or he can come this way to support it all depends we shall see i i don't really want you to get lost in the black mountains because movement there is really damn slow uh could potentially just take the tool maker just to mess people up Maybe just sack it and withdraw, you know? Um, but farmland, that I'm more interested in. So this side is definitely more of an interest to me. Anyway, next turn. We'll see where he moves. Thing is as well, like if he does go for Hodong, then we can sidle up this way. Two armies together. No, he's in the river. He is very much in the river. Interesting. Uh, he's pulled Gongsun Zan into the war. That's a shame. Uh, Shirley has been destroyed. Um, we have a birth in the family. Well, ancillaries. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. That's a nice toy. Ta ta, I've been waiting for you to have something useful. Here you go. Uh, Shio. Um, yeah, the reduction building upkeep. <coughs> um, yeah, reduction building upkeep. Much more useful. Pick that up. Um, we've got a lot of money coming in now. So, this chap here, he has a lot of bandits. I do want more cavalry, but I can't really afford more cavalry right now. Instead, let's get some Jamajin. That'll do quite nicely. Uh, you big man, you're going to shift down here. We're going to take another uh, recruitment day and then we'll keep moving across. Over here, how are we looking? We're looking pretty good. I don't have any extra money to spend as of yet. Let's just have a look, see what deals we have going here, though. An aggression packs, no military access, no peace, um, likely just for Yang Fong. Create vassal, unlikely as well. Okay, fair enough. And then let's have a look at food. Yang Bai Hu, uh, you have food. Since Sir, we're selling. Han Empire has your poor. I'm sure we're selling, we're selling, we're selling, we're not quite selling, we're selling, selling, uh, we're at war, you, yeah, uh, uh, request some payment, because you probably have the most appallingly bad income, There we go, it's not bad, 450, that'll do the trick. You're okay, Zhang Yan. See, I'd happily throw money your way, um, food your way, if we could peace out. Let me finish Yang Fong in peace. 
Um. Yeah, I mean, that's just unrealistic, buddy. Very poor and poor. Unfortunately, that will not help me. You two. Uh, and Fung, of course, is. Yeah, we're selling to you. Oh, shoot. Gong could do with some. And I don't really want to have that great relationship with like Shu Gong and and uh, Xu Zhao and people like that down there because of course Sun Tzu, uh, in his campaign he is all out for killing all of them. So I'm happy to do trades like this, but vassalizing them or anything else just seems slightly pointless. Little so, Yao, uh, okay, you're about to run out. You have none. Wang Long, we're selling. Um, we're selling to you. We're all with you. Hu Mao. You are someone we can do business with. Quest payment. A few hundred here and there. Will help keep my armies... Ooh, way too much. There you go. Help keep my armies in the field. Poor, poor, that won't help. Li Xian. Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Like you really want a lot. Uh, let's say that'll be five hundred and something, right? So if we were to request the payment, how much will you give? Probably the monthly. There we go, seventy-four per month. That's fine. Wu Jing. <coughs> uh, no. We're okay. Okay, a bit of cash. Bit of cash isn't bad. That does suggest we can recruit. Um. Yeah. Do we need the solid line though? We probably don't need that solid line if we have all those spears. No, I'm gonna get them. They're fun. They're a lot of fun. Uh, right, on this front as well. Grand Commandant, I think we're gonna throw in Dian Wei. Makes no real difference, um, except he's higher uh, post a higher level so I think he deserves it um, I should have probably done that before the recruitment but anyway it doesn't matter hmm where's Jiang Yang gonna go now here he comes hmm decisive Defeat. Uh, well, he sort of has to attack this. It's, uh, he's quite powerful, though. Will he have flaming arrows? He is rank three. It's only one way to find out. Now, if he does have flaming arrows, this will be unfortunate. But if he doesn't, I think I've got this. Basically, these bandits are not that great. So if I can break them, I'll be fine. I do have fire arrows. Don't have a lot of arrows, though. Okay, you're attacking from three sides. Possibly... Sorry, I don't want all of you come back here
There we go. Move that up there. Um, they've got more elite troops. They're quite a lot of weak troops. There. Right. Okay. Spear guys back. You can stand there. Archers can be here. I think none of that. We don't want flames. Uh, Damajian behind, ready to deal with. Cav. I think we can have Cav over here, ready and waiting. Uh, yeah. Spear guard there. They're probably going to take a beating. You boys there. More archers here. That leaves one group of archers to defend this side. Should be enough. Damajian probably needed over here, actually. Um, you boys here. I think you here and you here. Spear in reserve. Start battle. Come out. Ooh. Fireworks in the background. Sure, that's uh, just a reflection, but it, it's quite fun. How are you doing? Going to start to be in range soon? Can we just rock a tiny bit forward, see if we can get those archers in? Yeah, we can. Boom. Do that. Can we not retaliate? Apparently, we can't. Just nab forward just a touch. Can you hit them? Should be able to hit them. There we go. That's a bit better. You too, you're shooting. That's good. Lads, set fire. Good boy. And then reform. Yep. Over this way, please. Axes in. In. Spears, I saw. sort of hope you guys will hold. A lot of death and destruction coming here, which is too... not too bad. Uh, more spears in reserve. Flame, everything's on fire. How wonderful. That was probably me. Fall back. Just a touch. You... Right, everyone's ready. We dealt with them yet? Almost. Right, form up this way. One of you keep on them. And go. Crash into the rear. You're doing good. So, deal with them. Right, boys. In you go. In you go. Pop this. Kill her. Kill them. A little bit destructive. That charge, however, absolutely on the money. Well done, lads. Uh, let's form up here, please. You deal with them. You chaps are going to be needed over here. Please, axes over here. Uh, we're doing all right. Messy, sure, but we're doing all right. Cav, where are you? Wait, oh, you're there. Well, you're gonna be needed, so pull out. Show you in. You have him. Spear guards will hold. Archers, in here, please. Jin. 
go in. In. Mm. Let's kill them. Uh, right, right over here. Arrows, if you wouldn't mind on them. How are we doing? Kill, maim, destroy. Kill, maim, destroy. Arrows doing okay. Get over here. Come on. Force them to die. Cav, you've got them. Good lads. Good lads. I think you can pull out of that fight. You've done what you needed to. Shoot the crap out of them. Kill, 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 kill. Come on, that's a rear charge if ever there was one. How are they still shooting at me? Right, right around here. Right, 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 right. Where are you? You're caught up in a fight there. That's fine. They'll support you. You boys have disintegrated. Well, fair enough. It is quite scary. Uh, let's get back into this mess. Good. You are desperately needed over here. He's just gone nuts. Go on, deal with them. Chase them off the field. We can still do this. We can still do this. God, a lot of their men have melted, but so have mine. Boys, form up back here. Central square. How are you doing? You got them? Take out the bandit hunters. You're okay. Take out that bandit gang. Jamajan in there. Sheldon. You boys have won. So shift over here. Is he unbreakable or is he just happy? He's unbreakable. Okay. So we're going to have to kill him. Which means... Everybody in. Okay. They've been dealt with. Cav back. Ah, we have a spear unit here as well. I forgot about you boys. Into him. You chaps too. Tom. You boys as well. Everybody in. You keep chasing them. Just kill them. You cav over here. You cav have got them. Come on. In you go. You two. In, 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 in. Everybody in. Kill, 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 kill. Just sheer weight of numbers now, lads. Wipe him out. So he is definitely scaring some of my boys, which is fine. He's allowed to. He has a heal as well, um, which can help for no sworn because I killed one of his generals, um, which is helping him. Cav, get them. 49. Just kill him. Come on, back in. You boys too, back in. So he definitely did a number on our army. But we've won. It's fine, they can run. This battle's ours. Chase over here. We took him down. Three of them. 29 of them. Chase them down then. How are the rest of us doing? They're probably going to get away. They're ours. 
they're all gonna get away. Claim victory. Close battle, I'll take it. How many you're 384 that man? Oh Still, we got one of his generals. And we should have him next time as well, looking at those numbers. Our cab did work. Unfortunately, we set fire to our own stuff. Yeah, we killed his strategist, Zhang Jinglang. Uh, so... She has an iron snake. Artful, impeccable, friendly. I... I feel we should take the replenishment. Right. Jade bird. Over tea, you tell your general of a dream of a jade bird. The general takes a long sip of their tea, places the cup down and looks you in the eye. A vision of a jade bird is an auspicious prophecy, the jade indicating imperial matters and the bird a being that can traverse the gap between heaven and earth. Relationship deepens between Ye Jin and Cao Cao. How wonderful. Kan Jian Dai. Xiao Dun is philanthropic. How are we feeling, ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely fine. Right. Finish him off. Finish him off. Okay. Well, she died that time around, didn't she? Ancillaries, nice. Um, I think I will take the replenishment again. Xiao Yuan, leveled up. He's been... Like, he is amongst the worst of the um, vanguards you get, unfortunately. Uh, passion, melee damage for shot cav is quite nice. Battle running speed is also quite nice. Fury is nice. I'm going to go battle running speed for now. As far as followers go, we don't have anything there. Uh, we don't have anything in second weapons. We have a water clock. Uh, so we've killed some of them in battle. Uh, Ta'ang, you have also leveled up. Um, I prefer this, just in case you have to attack. <sighs> Perhaps not. Right, you lads are three turns away, uh, but uh, tough. We're moving top speed over this way. You're going to heal up for a turn, which will be fine. We are also going to look at uh, ooh, assignments. Mm, Han Hao, you could potentially be doing something for me here. Uh, probably Chen. Han Hao, food production. There we go. And then that means our boy, Ray's army, Shu Chu. In you come. I will say though, um, as much as I enjoy you bringing peasants to the party, we need some proper soldiers. Right, he is going to support. I'm bringing him basically because he is a monster. Um, and we don't have a monster in this force. Uh, Yue Jin does get progressively more dangerous as he uh, levels up. Uh, it's nasty of steel and then this. The one-eyed kind of works as well because he's got scare quite like that. Um, that may work. That may be handy for now, actually. Um, but despite the fact that Yuan Jin was a brave lunatic in many ways, but extremely potent general, dual Lubu and survived. You know, just to give you an idea, because Lubu is touch overrated um, by the game. But yeah, he, he is that good. Um, Shu Chu, uh, he, he's been made a sentinel, and sentinels are not particularly the most killy. He's quite a killy sentinel, but he's no Shu Huang, he's no uh, Zhao Yun. But Shu Chu, Shu Chu is a monster. I would rather have Shu Chu at rank 10 than Lu Bu at rank 10 in any of my armies any day of the week. Well, that has gone quite well. 
Will you peace with me? You won't, but how much are you away from it? Not far. Not far. So we can offer you some food. You need quite a lot of food for that to work though, don't you? Um, that's too much food. I don't think I have any ancillaries that I can trade though. I could pay, but I don't want to pay. Um, what we could do is... No, he really didn't want that. What about military access? No. Uh, they're nothing. Young Fung will fall over in a second because I'm going to smash one of his lands. Jill Fool can do whatever he's doing in peace. This army here, we could do with one of these. Um, go on, we'll throw in another one of those just for the sake of it, just to max them out. Right, everybody else is looking pretty. Um, we still have a little bit of spare food, but I can't do much with it. My economy is going back towards the red with a worrying rapidity, but that's kind of normal for my early game. I prefer to have the armies out in the field fighting and expanding. Uh, expansion in this one has been meh, all right speed. I wouldn't say we've been overly quick. They've peaced out with Jing. Right. Yeah, up you come here. Take that copper mine. He doesn't really have anyone there. Copper mine, yeah, should have a pretty good garrison, which is understandable. This is going to be demolished because it's no use to me whatsoever. Uh, to be honest, I don't want that either, but I'll deal with that later. Uh, Luoyang Trayport, everything's looking good there now, which is good news. Over here, we have a level up for Han Hao. Abundance, you're starting to get upset, which is understandable. We, we want to bring him out uh into an army eventually i just have no place to put him or potentially make him a um uh, an administrator um but i can't do it just yet right if we wait another turn might be too long can you Ah, oh, you can't get into the... It's fine. We're still in our territory, though. That was a mistake of a click, really. I mean, it is exactly where I wanted to click, but it didn't do what I expected it to do. Um, I wanted him in the water and cross over, but uh, he went around the long way. That's absolutely fine. He's still in uh, replenishment range, so the army will be slightly better off for that misclick. Buildings, some of our stuff has been knocked down, some of our stuff has been replaced. Here we want state workshops. Now, you're going to besiege Hudong Copper Mine. Valiant defeat. Seriously? Uh, if you say so. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave it here for this episode. So we'll be beginning the next episode with this siege. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time, where Xu takes her on Copper Mine. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.